Hello and welcome back to Air Memories of Old. We're obviously at the checkpoint again, but it's right here in town, so let's just fly over and have a chat with the villagers before we go to the eastern side of the world. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. I forgot to, like, break. Also, it was very loud, so I was trying to, like, adjust my volume at the same time. So yeah, I guess, uh, her first. We have been taking care of the land of gods for many years now, me and John, and my parents before us. But I haven't reflected on the rituals of the pilgrimage very much. Why is it that only bird shifters go through the pilgrimage? What do you think? There are other shifters who are chosen by other spirit animals. Isn't that pretty fucking obvious? It's because they can fly, and no one else can complete the pilgrimage. Come on, man. There are, of course, the stories that tell of Kara. She was a bird shifter too, but it feels as if it's more than that. As with Kara's light, I feel that you were given it to shed light on something important. But you still have a part of the pilgrimage left, don't you? Let's see. You should visit the archives, the temple in the east by the eastern steps. Hey. Hey. That's, I don't know, that, that's a very weird question. Hmm, I wonder why no other spirit animals go on the pilgrimage in these, like, broken islands in the sky that no one except the bird shifters can traverse? Unless you have, like, airships and stuff? I mean, I guess, maybe. Did they have, like, they have a, a kind of dock here? Like, I guess this is a bit of a weird, like, I don't even know how this would work, but maybe they have some sort of transportation method between the islands that doesn't require bird shifters? No clue. All right, and John? Have you seen Erin? I turned my back on her for a second, or, uh, turned my back for a second, and now I can't find her anywhere. Oh, this is all my fault. I know that she's as adventurous as, old, as her old man, but it's not the same. It's just different when it's your kid, you know? Will you please help me find her? I'll search around the camp and see if the skyboat is still here. Gods forbid she took it- took the skyboat. I can't read. And you search the outskirts of the island and see if you can find her. That's what I did before, when she was just lying on the stump. Did you check the stump? Maybe she's just blending in. Erin is still gone. You haven't found her yet, have you? Please look around the island to see if you can find her. So around the island does sound like it's not inside here, but... We want to go there as well, but for now I guess let's just fly around. I would imagine she's like up at the lighthouse or something. Maybe not? Just keep an eye out here. Sorry sheep, didn't mean to scare you. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to even pick her out when I do see her. She kind of- oh, there she is. She kind of blends in a lot. Hi, Auk. Oh, there we go. Hide and seek. Have you seen this? I found this rock on my expedition, all by myself. Find Eren when she's gone. I'm convinced it is some kind of great evil monster mastermind's mineral minion. I have kept it under close watch. It hasn't done anything yet, except standing there. But I heard Medvin say that Black Rocks destroyed Kara's shrine. I bet that it has something to do with that split mountain up in the northeast as well. Did you know that a spirit fox lives there? Yep, we're good pals. We went there once, me and Dad. I had to wait outside, but I found a large ruin, so I had an expedition there too. See, I'm an awesome adventurer, and now you should take me with you. Maybe I should ask Mom and Dad first. If they say yes, then it's a promise. Promise? Sure. I'm sure your dad will say yes. You kind of did promise, you know, so it's a deal now. I better get back to Mom and Dad soon. Yep. Sure did. I definitely said things. Let's talk to, uh, I always forget her name. What is, what is this chick's name? No clue. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I don't know, I forgot. Hey. You found Eren? Thank the gods. Well, I guess it's safe as long as she stays on the island, and she won't be away for long. Phew. Thank you, Auk. You really saved me. I start really started to panic there. 
Where are you off to now? Leafless Grove is just to the east of here. You will never believe the size of that tree. And there's even a door or something at, the, at its base. Yeah. So I guess that dialogue would have been the same if we went there first, and then they would have just switched over to the second part, saying, oh, now you have to go up to the roof of the world or whatever. So I don't think it matters much. And I assume she just says the same things. Oh my god, it's hard to control here. She'll just say you promised. Yeah. All right, and then Medwin. No indoors flight here, unless I can fall down. No, I don't know. Not that you would need to fly here. Hmm. Auk, I have some information, but it raises even more questions, I'm afraid. Before the caretakers, there was another entity. The creator, whose shrine I bet you found already, since the world itself is his temple, he has no temple of his own. But there is a shrine, larger than any temple. Strange, isn't it? I found an old text from the time of the Great Divide. The lighthouse shone a brilliant beam, and a monolith tall as ten of the tallest towers of Ursa appeared in front of my eyes. In one instant, the peaceful refuge of the Land of Gods became instead sky, chaos, and piercing light. In the middle, the monolith. Suddenly we're 2001, a space odyssey. I knew then that it was the crater's, crater's shrine I gazed upon, for nothing else it could be. From it, cracks spread and the sound of a thousand thunders drenched my mind. For us, the Great Divide is the tale of Kara, and the beginning of the people of the sky, and nothing more. Now, I think otherwise. That was Medwin's words, I suppose? Kara visited the caretakers, as you have done. It is said that she was gr given a great power when praying at the lighthouse. I believe this creature you see in your dreams is looking for this power, and for some reason it seems to be following you. I beg you, visit the last caretaker and see if you can find out even more. I will continue my search here. Sounds great! If the Great Divide was the beginning of a, a new tale rather than the end of an old one, then how does the tale end? I think you are most likely to find out, and the caretakers hold- what? I think you are most likely to find out, and the caretakers hold more answers than any of- any one of us. Yeah. Okay. We can't read this, Medwin is deciphering it. Yeah, stop, stop. Alright, so it's not the tower in the center of the map, I guess? That's something else? Well, there we go. That ended up taking some time anyway. And now we go east again. And I guess I'm probably gonna skip past Leafless Tree and instead we'll go for like the Ruins of On or something. That seems more fun. Have I been here? I don't remember if I've been here. Oh! Go back, Yohal. This is not your path. It's mine, though. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, wait. You could read that? Have I read this? I'm not completely sure. I'm Yohal of the Southern Isles, and this is the first entry in the tale of my people. Our homelands around the city of Ursa are shattered. The world broke apart. I think it has to do with the ending of the Great War against On. I've gathered the survivors who made camp among the islands now floating in the sky. I used broken stones to sail- what? I used broken stones to sail toward the Land of Gods. Oh, so like, the pieces of stone that are flying? You could break off a piece and then like ride it? Just shove it away, like in space or something? Sounds weird. I hope to find answers there. I called for the spirit animals, but can't tell if they've, they have heard me. Before I left, I saw a sickness take hold of a tree, covering it in black rock. I must warn the other clans. Yeah, okay. I don't think I read that. So I was supposed to read that before anything else, really. How the fuck is that growing on top of the, the rock? 
Like the moss, sure, but an entire tree or bush? Yeah, just some minor islands, nothing here. Oh, what's this? Have I been here? I have been here, right? Yeah, I got an achievement for this, didn't I? I think? Like, see the great deer statue or something? More dead animals again? Yeah, this song is new. I mean, I think we heard it a little bit before, but I haven't listened to it much. What the hell is that skittering sound? Or was that birds flapping away? Yeah, I guess so. Checkpoint here. Dead animals there. Oh, here we go. The crane and the deer? I am departing these lands. The priestess is safe. There's nothing more we can do. So, old friend, why do you linger? Well, I don't think the deer can fly. Yeah, sorry for any abrupt cuts. I keep having to clear my throat. I haven't, like, warmed up my voice today. Oh, another one of those jerky stutters. And oh boy, I guess the God King cut down that massive tree for like war purposes or something. Seems like it would have been almost as big as that one. What if I land on it? And this is nothing. Yeah, no. More of these monoliths. Of Ursa, which we loved, lost and long for, city of cities, bright and dead. The white swan of marble, raising her long neck elegantly into the purple sky. Her eyes a thousand souls, swimming the lake of the never-ending afternoon in the heart of spring. Her song a million hearts, praising the beauty of life undiminished and brief, a petal on the wind of fall. The white swan of marble, folding her luminous wings silently in the ashen dusk, Never to be seen again. Yeah, most of these are just like poetic, kind of uh, religious texts or whatever. Hold on, I need some water actually. My god, I need to like start doing some voice exercises, I think, like warming up and stuff. Let's just keep exploring around everything that isn't this island. Yeah, here we go. More. 
dead guy. No, why are you doing this? The old gods are dead. This power belongs to the god King Kuroku now. Yeah, I guess citizen of Ursa? Citizens of On. Something like that? Yeah, I know. It's sad. There's nothing down here. Nope. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Just like signposts showing the way to on? Or are they actually some kind of purposeful thing? What was that? Like a crack of thunder, louder than I've ever heard. Seemed to come from on, right? War started. Was that something? No, just a little mushroom. I think these are the last two islands in this area. Yeah. Alright, well, we won't have too much time, but let's go over to the city of On a little bit and check in with that. Or maybe I'll just explore around the islands around it, and then we'll actually leave on for next time. That seems more likely at this rate. Oh, achievement? Train statue? Yeah, there we go. Wings of stone. Find the statue of Crane. Of Crane, not the Crane, but of Crane. Statue of Crane. Oh, here we go. I don't remember this place being here, or being here. Are the lands drifting in the wind? We need to hurry if we want to reach someplace safe. Yeah, we have this massive crescent island. And here we go, what's going on here? He's flying. He's dying. I guess this is like an explosion happened here or something? There's nothing more we can do. The machine is an accident waiting to happen. We got too greedy. Yeah, some big machine that was like getting, I don't know, overheated or something and ended up exploding. Cost a catastrophe. Whoops, hold on. I wanted to check up there. Ah, damn it. Okay, it's easier to do from above. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything here, but might as well. Yeah, all right. What if you fly through the pipe here? Ah, damn it. Well, never mind that. So this didn't used to be a crescent island, it used to be a big round one? And it broke away in the explosion, maybe? That was just a bird?
No, oh, here we go. It really does look like a Tower of Sauron. No good person could build something like this, right? Oh, Jesus Christ! Thanks, camera. <laughs> Doesn't seem like anything was in here. I'll try one more time, just for the sake of it. Wait, was that something? What, what was I seeing there? Just something, like, clipping through? God damn it. It's very hard to, like, get the perfect elevation, because if I flap again, I'm just gonna go too high. That is something! What is that? Mushrooms? I need to see. Man, that's hard. Yeah, you can't really do that. No, there's no way you can sit there. Alright, I don't know what that is. Just a little detail, I suppose. The clans of the South are proud people. Even now, before the threat of the so-called God King Kuroku, they will not bow. Before the cities of Ursa and On were built, many of their shifters chose the deer as their spirit animal, the protector. But slowly their spirits succumbed to sadness and they blamed the gods for the darkness in the world. The darkness, invited into their hearts, spread further. If this is true, then so is the opposite. Existence of light and there is hope. I am Kashar of the Eastern Islands and the first shifter in ten generations. My spirit animal chose me and I will fight. I will travel north to the monastery to join the other priests. Good job, guy. Doesn't seem to be much else here, on this crescent island. Yeah, alright. Well, I suppose that might be a good place to end it then. And then we'll continue exploring these islands and then check out the ruins of On itself next time. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you then. Bye bye!